Good evening. It's definitely one day today. Um, I finished at work at 10 o'clock last night and obviously I started at 9 o'clock this morning but I actually got to work an hour early, 8 o'clock, and worked from 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock. So what's that? That's three hours. Solidly. I just put in heaps of work and then I went and had to do something else. Did that for an hour and 40 minutes to two hours and then from about one o'clock I worked until 5.30 so I literally did about eight hours of solid work today but I'm really grateful for it because I never get the chance to do that at work. I'm always busy doing something else and today I just got to solidly work besides for that little bit in the middle but in that little bit I got to meet someone new in my job and like he's a really cool dude so it was awesome. Um, he works in a role that I would potentially consider going into eventually, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so eight hours of solid work. I caught up on so much shit that was weighing my mind down about work. So maybe three or four more things I need to do when I go back, and I'll probably have the opportunity to do it next Tuesday. Because next Tuesday I've got a bit of a strange shift where I get to sort of not do a whole lot, I don't think. Um... So that's promising. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel really good about it. Um, like I said, weighed up my mind with the paperwork all done and stuff like that. Ooh, but I'm tired. Um, I've actually decided not to run or to um, lift today. I feel really mentally foggy as though I'm drunk. Obviously, I've just gotten done doing t nine, uh, nine shifts in 10 days, including doing night shift which means I got out of my sleeping pattern and all that sort of stuff as you can imagine I'm thoroughly wrecked um I've got the next six days off so I've got the rest of the week off so I can fit my five runs in my other four runs in and fit five gym sessions into that I'm also intending on going to the thousand steps at some point to do a bunch of loops I'm also intending on going rock climbing at some point we'll see what days I do that I don't know um but it's gonna be good I found out a little bit more today about the fact that I could potentially get sent to like a different place to work. Um, like chances aren't great, but they're also not good either. I'm trying not to freak myself out too much. I did find out that um, sort of it's only the one place that I could possibly get sent. It was originally two, but now it's been whittled down to one and it's really not that bad. So I'm feeling pretty confident about it because I know that either outcome I will make the best of. Anyway, I finished a book. It's called The Obstacles of the Way by Ryan Holiday. It's based a lot around the philosophy of Stoicism and uh, Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, um, Seneca, Epictetus, etc. Really, really good book. Um, not the best book ever, but definitely a great read. I read it in like less than 48 hours. I'm now going to read Ego is the Enemy, which is a book that is also written by Ryan Holiday that I started a little while ago, but I think I may have not given it a chance back then because I was like, oh, philosophy, what is this bullshit? Because I had a bit of a negative attitude towards philosophy in the past. I don't know why that was. Maybe it's because my ex-girlfriend actually was heaps into philosophy, so maybe I just carried that on from my bitterness towards her. I don't even have bitterness towards her anymore, but you know what I mean? Just how you thoughts go that way but anyway I think maybe that's why I put down ego as the enemy last time and I'm determined to finish it this time so I've got it in audiobook format on my phone I'm still reading training for ultra and I am still also listening to a Bear Grylls book so I've got a lot on my plate at the moment I'm also reading True Grit by Bear Grylls I've got about six books on the go um, during my six days off I'm going to finish every single one of those books no question so I've read 26 already for the year, so Training for Ultra, The Bear Grylls audiobook, Ego is the Enemy, and The Bear Grylls book. So that'll bring me up to 30 books by the end of like the 18th of March, which means I'm smashing my goal. And it means I'll probably read like 120 books for the year if I continue on at that rate. I'm loving it though, so it's great. Thanks, Emily. Emily just made me a lemon and ginger tea. What a champion she is. Um, that's all I have to say for today. I'm going to catch up with the vlog editing as well. But that won't be too hard. So, I'm going to enjoy my relaxing night by reading and relaxing. And then I will smash all my goals from tomorrow. 
I feel fantastic despite the fact I'm so tired. I feel very accomplished and like I got a lot done. It's a great feeling. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.